Hello everybody and welcome to my hashtag 365 days of samples update. Yes, I am channeling a certain fictional character tonight. I was just in the mood. Just wanted to do something different. I know it's not Halloween. I don't care. Anyway, before I dive in here, and I normally don't do a very long intro, but today is an exception. I just want to let people know that there will be no update for this project next week. I am going away for the weekend and I won't be returning until very, very late Sunday evening, so then I won't have time to film. And I really want to try and keep as close to the Sunday schedule as possible. I don't want to start uploading in like the middle of the week because that will just start, that'll throw the whole thing off. I really like keeping it on Sunday. So just for those people who will probably inevitably be wondering next week, it's just that one week that there's going to be no video and then I will do a big update once I return. So the next update you see for this project will be in two weeks time just so you know. And now I will start with the products that I would not purchase the full size of. So the first product I have here is from Vita Liberata and it is the Broad Spectrum SPF 50 Passion Flower and Argan Dry Oil for face, body, and hair. So it's a spray, which is pretty cool. Um, I used it mostly in my hair a little bit, um, sometimes like sprayed on various places of my body. I did not put it on my face. I just... There's something about it that I wasn't quite sure of with the high SPF and the fact that it could also be used in hair and on body that I just didn't want to put it on my face. Um, so I just did like light mists on the top of my head because it's always a good thing to make sure that you're covered when it comes to SPF. It was okay on the body. It was like all right. It was. It's definitely a dry oil, which is such a weird experience because I always expect oils to be like super oily and this was not. If you've ever used a dry oil before, you'll know what I mean. It's sort of weird and hard to explain. Um, but I just wouldn't purchase this because I I really don't feel like I need to spray a sunscreen on my head all the time. So I just, I don't see the need for this for my current lifestyle. The next thing is the Sephora 10 Hour Wear Perfection foundation. I did only use the one sample, which was a pretty good color match for my skin. Um, I used light 10 ivory, pretty close. And it was a good foundation. It was a little bit on the drier side than what I'm used to with foundation consistencies. I don't know if that's just because of the sample pack or not. Um, I liked it, but I wasn't crazy en enough about it to that it it didn't make me think about it once it was gone. I didn't think, gee, I really enjoyed that foundation. I should go get a bottle of that and use all the time. I just used it, was like, you know, it's pretty good color match, looks pretty good. And then once I washed my makeup off later that day, I just didn't think anything more of it. It wasn't really memorable. I've used other foundations that I liked more, that I was more impressed with the way that it made my face look. When it comes down to using these kind of samples, I I'm really am looking for those special products and this just wasn't one of it for me. It does seem like they have a really great shade range though, so good on you Sephora for having so many different shades. That's awesome. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these other two. I just, I don't, didn't feel the need to open them because I used the one that was closest to me and I just, I feel like it's kind of a waste just to, to use it for the sake of using it. I'm thinking I might have to do something with some of the samples I have, but I don't know if people might would use stuff if I left it in like a washroom maybe. Faith um, had commented and suggested that, that she had done that at her church. And I'm thinking, like I work at a university and I'm thinking maybe I could leave it in the bathroom. Maybe there's like people would use these kind of things, like unused samples. I don't know. I don't know if people would or not, but I guess I, it might be better than me throwing it away if I just put a little basket in the washroom being like free and then people can try it and play around with it if they want to. I couldn't even finish the Dr. Jart BB Beauty Balm multi-action skincare and makeup. Um, this sort of stung my face. I'm not really sure. It just like it, it my face felt really hot and and kind of itchy when I have it on and I don't know maybe I'm allergic to something that's in here not a clue but I immediately washed my face and was like not using any more of that so um I think I'm just I'm just gonna toss this I'm not gonna try and re give this away to anyone because there, there is still quite a bit of product in here but just with the reaction I had from it I don't I don't want anyone else to have that kind of reaction I don't know if anyone else has used this product before um, the the BB Beauty Bomb from Dr. Jarton had any issues but I definitely did so 
gonna stay far away from this. The O Thermal Avene Physio Lift Night. So I don't know what I was really expecting with this product. It's not hydrating at all. It is extremely drying. Like I really like my night lotions and oils and treatments and creams and stuff to make my skin feel hydrated and like just I, I want to see that hydration in my skin and I want to feel it and I did not feel it with this. As soon as I put it on my face the first time I was like wow. I just felt like I kept putting it on, putting it on, putting it on and it just like it, it just didn't do anything. Um, and when I woke up in the morning it just didn't do anything. I've had some pretty good luck with some of the samples I've been using in regards to nighttime treatments so maybe I'm a little biased because of those things worked so well but this thing like I woke up expecting to see results and I got a few few nights use out of this and I just didn't. I wasn't impressed I just didn't feel like it made my skin look as good as these other night treatments I've used. And the last product I had to be really, really honest with myself. This is the Fresh Black Tea Age Delay Firming Serum. So I wanted to love this stuff because I'm just obsessed with this line. I love the brand Fresh. I love things that have tea in it. So I was really telling myself like, you're gonna love this, you're gonna love this, and you're gonna love this. And from like the couple of weeks of using this, I didn't love it. I didn't, I just, I was forcing myself to use it and telling myself that I had to like it. And it was one of those like why, like I had that sort of mental block up where I told myself I was going to like it. So then I had to keep forcing myself to, to try and like it. And I just didn't, I, I've used better serums. This one, like I said, I just, I wanted to like it because it smells so good and it's the exact kind of consistency that I like in a serum in that it's not too watery but it's not too much like a lotion. It really is the perfect serum consistency when I think of what a, a serum should be and it absorbs easily. I just didn't notice improvement in my skin. Where I've used other serums and I've noticed how like beautiful my skin looks and it's useful, it's a useful step. With this one it just didn't seem very useful because I just didn't seem to be doing anything. So being completely honest, this one totally not worth it. And now for products that I would purchase the full size of. The first one is from Hourglass and this one really surprised me. This is the Veil Mineral Primer. So I had used this previously. I had a, I believe it was like a travel size of it and I did not like it. Granted, that was about four years ago or so and I had like zero makeup routine. I just was trying new products because Sephora was so new to us. Well, Sephora was so new to us here um, where I am in Canada. We, as I've mentioned before, our Sephora opened in 2011. So that was like one of the big things that caused my huge makeup addiction and I was trying so many different products. And this primer, I didn't like it. This time with this sample, I loved it so much. It's a thicker lotion-like consistency, but it's very creamy and it's a pretty pigmented white primer. I don't know if it would leave a white cast on people whose skin tones are darker than mine. Like I didn't notice it, but I did notice it in my hand how white it was before I put it on my face. Um, but it seemed to absorb in pretty easily. I did let it seep into my skin for about like five minutes before I went in with foundation. And let me tell you, my foundation just like glided effortlessly on my skin. Like I've used primers that are great and that I've loved but I've never used a primer where my foundation just like it was like silk like no matter what foundation I used it was just completely effortless like the foundation was just like loving this primer so much so obviously the end result was fantastic it looks so so good I was always looking at like my skin and like reflections and stuff being like this primer is good. And as with most products, the real kicker for me was when I finished using it and then found myself wanting to use it. That's like the really big key for me. It's like when I finish a product or like if I get rid of a product or something and then all of a sudden I find myself missing it and I really want to, I really want it, I really want to use it, that's when I know that 
it's something that I like and that I need to have back in my life. So this one, really great primer and I definitely am adding this to like the top of my primer wish list. And the last product that I would purchase the full size of is from Murad and this is the Insta Matte Oil Control Mask. So I am not an oily skin person. Let me just say, say that right at the beginning. I am a combo skin person. I tend to vary all over the place when it comes to my skin, but in general, my cheeks area are pretty normal. Um, my nose varies anywhere from super oily to like dry as the desert. It just does whatever it wants. My forehead tends to be really oily and my chin tends to be really oily, but it does vary. Like I will have times when like it's all messed up and I just don't know what's going on anymore. I'll be like super dry in my forehead and I'll be a little oily in like the cheek area. Like it just, I have true combo skin in the sense that it's not consistent. It's just kind of a little mix of everything all the time. So right now that's what it is, is the dry nose area pretty normal on the cheeks although I'm a little bit oily like on the top parts of my cheeks and then um, the chin and the forehead is a little oily but I use this stuff and it says to apply an even layer on clean skin leave on for three minutes and rinse with warm water and pat dry so I was thinking huh yeah right okay this stuff whatever and I applied the thin layer on my face and within maybe like 15 seconds I started to notice the tightness in my face and I noticed how dry my skin was to the touch. Like it was incredible. And even when I rinsed my face, I was touching it and I was like, every part of it is so dry and it feels the same all the way around. I know some people who have like normal combination skin stuff don't like to use mattifying products because they don't like that kind of tightness, but I love it. I don't have anything like this. The closest thing that it feels like to me is the Becca Ever Matte Primer, which is a foundation primer that, but that it has that same sort of feeling on my skin where I just feel like all the moisture has been sucked out and my skin's super matte. Like that's what it felt like. And that's why I need this because I love that feeling and I love the way that my skin reacts to mattifying products. All right, so that covers all of the products that I've used up. Now I need to pick products to use for the next two weeks. So I think I'm gonna choose 10 products because I'm really gonna try and use up as many of these products as I can between now and when I do my next update. And I'm gonna choose five at random, but then I think I'm gonna, after I look at those five, I think I'm gonna choose five myself. Like I'm gonna actually pick them out because I'm gonna need some products to take with me and I need some very specific products, like maybe some shampoo and like a cleanser or something. So if I don't draw them, I'll pick them myself. So um, let's see what we got here. One. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so the products that I picked, I have a little perfume. Um, this is Lady Gaga's Fame. I have from Hard Candy a glitter mascara. Okay. I have from Shu Amura the youthful radiance generator i have from tata harper the re resurfacing mask for instant glow and i have from fresh uh the sugar lip treatment collection i've used this before this has three lip balms in it okay so i'm just gonna kind of dig through my sample box here and see if I can see anything easily that I would like to take with me or that would be easy to take with me. Um, like I said, I really need some kind of cleanser to bring with me. I just spent so much time looking around in my sample box for a cleanser and I could not find one which is good and bad, I guess. So anyway, the last five products I handpicked, uh, the Bumble and Bumble Thickening Shampoo and Conditioner, the Alterna Caviar Anti-Aging Volume Shampoo and Conditioner, Philosophy's Hope in a Jar Moisturizer, which is my holy grail, so 
I love this stuff. And two Strivectin products. One is an intensive concentrate for stretch marks and wrinkles. And the other one is an eye concentrate for wrinkles. Why not? We'll see. Okay, so that is everything for my hashtag 365 days of samples update. I'm really excited to go on my trip, but I'm also really excited to check in with you guys in two weeks time on all of my samples. Hopefully I will have most of them, if not all of the ones I'm currently working on, finished. Fingers crossed. Um, so as always, let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever, down below, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I really hope I will see you in my next video. Bye. Um, but it's not like, a, I've never seen